again welcome to live demo of Arduino and WinAVR. In this video we will have hands-on practical with Arduino and WinAVR and we'll understand the benefits of uh, bare metal C programming over Arduino programming. We will make a program to blink a LED at one hertz frequency with both Arduino ID as well as WinAVR. Then we will examine the size of the binary or the hex file produced by both Arduino as well as WinAVR. We'll also test both the codes on Proteus simulator as well as on Arduino Uno hardware. But before that, I will explain the pin mapping of Arduino Uno and generic AT Mega 328P microcontroller. Understanding of pin mapping of Uno will help you to use Uno hardware for WinAVR embedded C programming. So this is the uh, picture of the pin mapping of Arduino. On the left side of the of the slide you see the uno hardware from a0 to a5 this is the analog pins these are in the controller that are identified by pc0 pc1 up to pc5 but when we write the program using uno we have to access this pin by its name a0 to a5 a0 a1 similarly to also access the digital uh, inputs outputs we have to access uh, the uh, uh, by his identification 0, 1, 2, up to 13. But actually, that pin, uh, the Arduino pin 0 is connected to PD0 uh, and pin number 13 is connected to PV5. So if we look on the right hand side of the, of the slide, we see that the PV5, 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 PV5 is pin number 90. So the digital pin starts from, uh, from here it starts from uh, 0 to 13. Here the digital pin starts from pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19. And the analog pin corresponding to A0 to A5 on the uh, actual controller, I start from pin number, pin number uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So we have to keep this image ready when we will be programming the uh, Atmel 80 Mega or the Uno using WinAVR embedded C programming platform. This is the code for one hertz, uh, one hertz uh, frequency of LED blinking. Okay. For this, we have connected uh, to the digital pin, pin number 10 of the Arduino Uno board as the LED uh, pin for driving the LED. So in Arduino, when we write program, there are two things. One is a setup and a loop. Setup is a, for the configuration and loop is the continuous loop that will be in infinite loop. This program will be executed so uh, before we uh, use the led uh, pin uh, the pin for the led driving we have to uh, configure that pin as an output so to configure this this is a command pin mode led means a pin number 10 and we have to define as output this is a function this is a arduino function okay then we have to in the loop we have to write the digital write led then we have to give the low means value means low it will go low and then we are giving a 500 millisecond of delay and after that we are putting the led as high and again a 500 millisecond delay and now to compile this we have to click this on this icon so the compiling will start so the compiling you see the sketch uses 936 bytes, so 2% of the program memory. Means this simple code of LED blinking, it is taking about 936 bytes, means 2% of the total memory. Okay, uh, and uh, 9 bytes are variable. Uh, in this, we have a feature. We can uh, we can see where this actual hex code is getting stored. For that we have to set this show verbose output during compilation 
okay so we have to select we have to click this and again and again if we uh, compile it it will show all the compiling process what is going through and even it will also show where this actual hex file is getting stored so this is the uh, debugging file okay then this is another uh, type of uh, binary file elf okay we have to now copy this and you have to search it from where this file has been generated because it, it is uh, an arduino uh, arduino produces all these binary files in a temporary file okay so we have to first find by its name where is actually storing the uh, the file we will use a free utility everything search so using application we can find the folder where these binary files and hex files are being generated so we'll paste the file name which we have copied from the arduino uh, today is uh, according to date we have to open this path so this is the uh, this is a path see you see is in a temporary folder this uh, uh, all the binary files has been generated so we will take this file copy this file to the folder where we have made now we have to copy this uh, file where we have made the uh, proteus simulation file so in the pro we have already opened the proteus file so here this is the proteus uh, um, the proteus this uh, model is available the uno you can copy it otherwise we will also show with the generic uh, 328 controller <clears throat> so uh, we have to copy it to say file save design as so we have to make this file copy here again we will paste it here okay so copy and replace it was previously there again we have made it copied now what we will do we will double click this software this uh, uh, this arduino uh, image and we have to dump the led blinker sketch iuno dot this is the hex file produced by the arduino ide okay and generally the frequency or uh, the crystal frequency of arduino is 16 megahertz so here it is 16 all the things are mentioned, uh, are mentioned here all the settings okay according to the hardware now for this we have to run this software the simulation now see the led is blinking at a frequency of one hertz means 500 millisecond on and 500 millisecond off so this is the way how it, it is uh, getting uh, means executed uh, but the, you remember that the size is 936 bytes okay so we have seen how we have generated the code uh, with the Arduino and have executed the code on the act of the Arduino hardware. Now we will be extending this experiment with generic Atmel 80 Mega 328 controller. So uh, here we have uh, in the this uh, experiment we have connected the, the LED to pin number 10. So pin number 10 is actually PB2 b2 so uh, we have another circuit ah, this is the circuit which we have made this is also 80 mega 328p so the pin mapping uh, the pin mapping is given here uh, pin number we have given a pin number 10 110 this is a pb2 this is a pin number 16 and accordingly we have connected this in the same way to the pin number 16 and uh, we have uh, in the in the configuration we have selected the external clock in, uh, and the frequency we have selected 16 megahertz which is actually present with the arduino board now we will uh, the same code we will dump it here so the same led blinker sketch i you know dot hex okay. and we'll run the simulator you see it is the same way it is 
working means the frequency is same 1 Hertz okay now in the next experiment we will develop the code with WinAVR uh, embedded C and we'll see uh, what will be uh, what will be the size of the code now we'll demonstrate the same code can be executed with win avr along with avr studio avr studio is the uh, id integrated development environment and uh, win avr is a, a c compiler that is a that is working behind uh, behind this win avr okay it actually calls the win avr during its compilation process so we have made this program uh, in c we have defined some macros in set led and clear, clear LED. So it means it will uh, put the LED high and it uh, clearly will put the LED low this is the, in, in C these are called the uh, is called the uh, macros okay and inside the main loop we first we have uh, initialized the IOs uh, even uh, the pin number 10 of Arduino that is the pin number 16 this is the PB2 PB2 has been initialized as, a, as the output port and uh, inside the while loop we have made the clear LED delay then uh, 500 millisecond and after that we set the LED once again and again the delay of 500 millisecond so this is the code now we will compile the code compile the code be, uh, we have to go to build build all now we'll see how much code it has been generated if we are using uh, see uh, the code that has been generated <clears throat> by the same uh, by the uh, by this code is 178 bytes and just remember uh, when we uh, when we uh, program when we made the program the same program with uh, Arduino ID it made 936 bytes and even it consumed 9 bytes of uh, of RAM 9 bytes of RAM here no bytes has been uh, used for uh, compile for uh, this uh, this LED blinking okay so uh, and now we will uh, execute the same uh, same software produced by the WinAVR AVR studio with a hardware now we will load the hex file that has been produced by WinAVR so now again we have to double click here previously the hex code produced by uh, Arduino is here so it change the the hex code produced by WinAVR is in this folder default so this is the LED blinker dot hex okay so now we will run this simulation see it is also executing in a similar way okay now again uh, now we'll open the file uh, of a generic microcontroller okay so again let us uh, open the file file LED blink yes so here also we will dump the code and see it is also giving the same result means if you know the the details of the hardware it is very easy to program so from this experiment it is clear that C programming has many advantages of course Arduino has advantages too uh, from the uh, saving time point of view so that we will uh, make another video I will explain how Arduino has an age over traditional C programming okay so now we will test this uh, code with the actual hardware now we will demonstrate the code with the actual hardware first we will use the Arduino ID with its inbuilt function of dumping the code its own programmer okay Arduino Uno so it is and uh, we have selected COM3 as per as my computer detected I have set to COM3 
okay now uh, the programmer which we have used the uh, USB ASP okay because the uh, UNO board is a clone type not the original UNO board okay okay so this is the code so how we can dump the code we can dump the code in two ways first by the Arduino's own ID and secondly by using a, a software uh, for is called the avia dude so avia dude actually the software which is running behind uh, this uh, IDE of Arduino okay so separately also avia dude is available so firstly we will do with this uh, Arduino ID okay so this is this uh, right click you saying this is for the compilation and this is for the uploading means compilation plus up uploading so we will click this now see the board is uh, I have connected as per we have shown in the schematic of uh, the demonstration of the Proteus so I will click it now so it is all uh, the things are compiling now the code is getting done now see the LED is getting on and off at a frequency of 1 Hz now look at the screen this is the avia dues 2.11 this is the avia dude programmer for uh, you can um, use the generic um, uh, programmer usb usb sp as well as the arduino boards okay so uh, in the programmer we have to select arduino and as we have seen in the arduino id we have selected com3 here and we have selected the hex file which we have used for the programming the uh, ISIS Proteus simulation okay so we will select this file okay and after that we have to give the program the program command okay so it is programming now see the code has got dumped so this is the uh, way how we can use the avia dude externally to dump any hex code into the UNO board. Now you see the code that is introduced that we have dumped is 936 bytes. Please remember this figure uh, because when we will uh, doing with the WinAVR and uh, uh, AVR Studio, you will see the size of the code what it produced. Now we will check again with AVR Studio. This is the same code which I've seen with ISIS Proteus. Okay, so we'll make it, uh, we'll uncomment it. And uh, then we will again rebuild all the files. So here, how much memory it is showing? 178 bytes, okay. Now we will use the AVR Dude, AVR Dude, uh, the, pro the file has been produced in the default folder we will take the led blinker dot hex this is the file which has been produced by WinAVR and AVR studio okay now we will dump this code into this controller uno uh, hardware okay so let's let's see it is in the same frequency it is flashing okay now see the code size 170 bytes 936 and 170 just see the difference what is the advantage of doing with the c programming you will uh, now uh, you can make it out okay the many advantages of me um, doing the program with c so uh, this is all about uh, uh, about uh, the difference between the embedded c uh, and uh, Arduino ID software okay hope you have understood if have any any queries just uh, let me know in the comment box okay I will be glad to answer all your queries and questions so thank you very much and have a fantastic time ahead